Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're going to be talking about signs your thyroid medication dose is too low. In other words, you're being underdosed or not taking enough thyroid medication. And when we actually look at thyroid patients, we find that this is a pretty common concern among thyroid patients. In fact, not even only on the side of things where you're taking too little, but also on the side of things when you're taking too much. So it turns out that it's actually pretty difficult for doctors to approximate the exact th amount of thyroid hormone that the human body produce produces naturally every single day. As a result, we have to give one dose of thyroid medication, and that one dose of thyroid medication can be off or may need to be changed at different times throughout somebody's life. Therefore, a lot of people go through periods of time where they are either underdosed or overdosed. So understanding what type of symptoms you may experience when your thyroid medication dose is too low is very important because that can prompt you to go to your doctor to request that you get your thyroid lab test done or just as a, uh, a sign that you need to make some adjustments to your lifestyle or something like that. So understanding these signs is actually very important. So we'll talk about the signs. There are about 10 or so here, and then we'll talk about reasons why this actually happens. So number one, I would say one of the most common signs that your thyroid medication dose is too low is persistent weight gain despite taking your thyroid medication every day. Now this is different from people starting thyroid medication and just maintaining their weight. What I'm really talking about here would be taking thyroid medication and continuing to see weight gain without making any changes to your diet or your exercise or anything like that. Now, when you, a lot of patients get confused by this because they think to themselves, well, if I'm taking thyroid medication and they know that their thyroid is responsible for, low thyroid is responsible for weight gain, then shouldn't taking thyroid medication help you lose weight? And the answer is yes, but it's not quite that simple because there are a lot of other factors which can go into weight gain and a lot of patients tend to have these other issues. So it's not always the case that taking thyroid medication will help you lose weight, but it is never the case that taking thyroid medication should cause you to gain weight. So that's why I say specifically here, weight gain in the face of taking thyroid medication every day. It is not uncommon for you to be on a good dose, not even necessarily the perfect dose, but a good dose and not lose any weight. That can happen and happens for other reasons. Number two, we have fatigue that is getting worse or just doesn't get better. Now this is different from the weight gain issue because when you have low thyroid function, as you take thyroid medication, you should feel an improvement in energy. If you don't feel an improvement of energy, or at least somewhat, because there are other things that can contribute to fatigue, then that's another sign that your thyroid medication is not sufficient. Number three would be hair loss that, that either gets worse or persists. Hair loss is another one of those tricky things because all thyroid medications have the potential to exacerbate or cause hair loss. And to make matters even a little more complicated, some medications like Cytomel or Lyrothyronine cause temporary hair loss, which then gets better after about three to four months. But usually it's the case, you can, you can, you can almost always uh, say that if you're taking a thyroid medication and it gets worse, that's not a good sign. Something needs to be evaluated. And often is the case that you are not taking enough thyroid medication. Although it can be rarely, but it does happen that taking too much thyroid medication can also contribute to hair loss. So hair loss is not always the easiest symptom to look at, but it is something that you should pay attention to. Number four would be continued constipation. Now constipation, when you take thyroid medication, sometimes can get worse, sometimes can get a little better. It's not always, um, it's not always clear cut because again, other factors can influence your, your intestinal tract and your intestinal health. But usually if you take thyroid medication, you should see an improvement in bowel function, which means more frequent and more regular stools. If you are noticing that your constipation gets worse, then that is always a bad sign. Uh, number six here, I think was the next one that we're on would be cold intolerance that doesn't get better. So one of the symptoms of low thyroid function is the inability to tolerate cold. So if you're somebody that has to go to bed with socks on or you just can't stand the air conditioning or a fan blowing on you, that is a sign of low thyroid function. And as you take thyroid medication, that should get better. If it doesn't get better, that's a sign that something's off with your medication. Menstrual problems uh, that continue to get worse. Now again, this is another one of those tricky ones because some thyroid medications, especially thyroid medications that contain T3, can actually temporarily make the menstrual cycle a little bit more intense. Um, so that's not uncommon. If you're taking something like natural desiccated thyroid, maybe armor thyroid, maybe lyothyronine, maybe cytomel, these medications have T3 in them. And as you take them, your thyroid function may get better, but your, your menstrual cycle, you may get more intense cramps and more intense bleeding for a couple of months. That just, I'm not exactly clear why that happens, but I think it's as your body sort of regulates to the new normal, you do see some changes in menstrual cycle. So that one can be a little tricky as well, but for the most part, your menstrual cycle should get better when you improve your thyroid function. Now, it usually is, it may be the case that if your menstrual cycle gets worse, maybe you're taking a little too much. Um, it also could be the case that you're not taking enough. 
Um, another one would be depression or an, and or anxiety that persists despite taking your thyroid medication. And also I can note here that this probably and sometimes may get a little bit worse. So if you notice that your anxiety or depression is not getting better um, as you are taking thyroid medication, that is a bad sign. Another one would be pain in the joints or the muscles. So these are low thyroid symptoms and they should improve as you take thyroid medication. If they're not, again, that is an issue. And then lastly would be dry skin. Dry skin also kind of depends on the climate and the time of year and so on. But generally speaking, as you take thyroid medication, your skin should become less dry, okay? It should get a little bit better. Now, you will notice that a lot of these symptoms that I just mentioned here, they all are associated with low thyroid function. So an easy way to sort of think about, is my thyroid medication working, would be to think about the symptoms you are experiencing related to your thyroid. As you take thyroid medication, those symptoms should all be getting better. The end goal for anybody who is taking thyroid medication should be to get back to 100% of normal. That means no weight gain. That means, that means a normal weight, by the way. A normal weight means no hair loss, means lots of energy, or at least a normal amount of energy, means normal sleep, no mood imbalances, no mood disturbances, you know, that sort of thing. All of these symptoms should resolve as you take thyroid medication. If, if they are not resolving or they are getting worse, then that's an indication that you need to look at your thyroid medication or some other factor around your life. Maybe sleep, maybe stress, maybe gut dysfunction and so on, but something needs to be addressed in order to improve those symptoms. Because you, as a thyroid patient, you don't just have to live with low thyroid symptoms. That's not the way that you should look at your disease. It should be a, di a disease which is 100% manageable, or at least you should get really, really, really close to 100%. We're talking 95% of normal, 98% of normal, something like that. So let's talk about why do these symptoms persist? Why is it the case that there are so many people um, who are just not feeling well on their thyroid medication? And as you, we go through this list, it should help inform you and you should probably be thinking about yourself. Do I fall into this category or to this category? And it will help you to make better, not, not help you make better choices, but to help inform you to what type of things you should be doing to get an improvement in these symptoms. So number one, probably the most common reason why this happens is that you are using the wrong thyroid medication. I'm still flabbergasted when I hear thyroid patients who, who are not, and this is not their fault by the way, but they're just not aware that there are so many thyroid medications available to them. They're only told about maybe level thyroxine or Synthroid. If you are listening to this, you should know that there are probably 10 plus different types of thyroid medications that you can use, and you should try those if the other ones that you have used in the past are not working. You can go through these medications and you can go, even if they're within the same class, you might, for instance, in the case of, let's say you're using level thyroxine, if level thyroxine isn't working for you, maybe Synthroid will. And if Synthroid isn't working for you, maybe Tyrosin will. But you still have many different options here. And if that doesn't work, maybe Levoxyl will and so on. So there are always different medications that you can go to and swap to. And as you do this, you should find one that works best for you. I would say this is very common. I would say most patients are not on the right type of thyroid medication for their body simply because they haven't spent the time to try uh, using trial and error to figure out which one works best for them. Number two, and I would say this is also very common, and that is that your dose isn't high enough. So in this case, you're actually on the right thyroid medication, but you're simply not taking a high enough dose. This frequently occurs in patients who, whose doctors are basing their dose off of the TSH. I have videos which explain why this probably isn't the best way to do it, and as you ignore free T3 and free T4 levels, um, thyroid hormone levels in the body, that and only going by the TSH, you're going to end up underdosed in most cases. So this is why it's so important to get the complete lab test that I recommend, which includes the TSH in addition to free T3, free T4, reverse T3, and usually total T3 as well. As you get these lab tests, you'll understand if your thyroid medication, number one, is it working for you? And number two, is your dose sufficiently high? Number three, this does happen from time to time, and that is that you didn't give it enough time to work. So maybe you're on the right type of thyroid medication, maybe everything is good, but you haven't given it the right amount of time to work. This is very common because it takes a long time for the body to see changes after you take thyroid medication. And that's because thyroid medication, thyroid hormone, influences your genetics, right? It goes right inside of the cells into the nucleus and it changes genetic transcription and it changes uh, the proteins and enzymes that are produced. And that process just takes time. It's not the same as taking like a blood pressure medication. If you take a blood pressure medication, you'll see changes within hours. That is not the case with thyroid medication, with thyroid hormone or thyroid supplements or really anything that impacts your thyroid. At minimum, we're talking about four to six weeks, probably six weeks at the absolute minimum. Sometimes you can get away with earlier timeframes, but usually six weeks is the amount of time you need to wait to see if your medication is working. Now, obviously, if you are a patient who is suffering, that's not gonna sound good, and I understand. There are a lot of patients who, you know, they finally get diagnosed, they take their thyroid medication, they start taking it for a few days, and they're like, 
Why do I still feel terrible? What is going on? And a lot of that has to do probably with the fact that they haven't waited enough time. So make sure that you do wait that amount of time. And by the way, this six week time frame is just when you might start to see some improvement. You might need further adjustments to your dose and then have to wait another six weeks and so on. So this whole dose of optimizing your medication is probably going to take you months. So just have that expectation. And as you have this expectation, you shouldn't be, you know, uh, disappointed as you make these changes. And then lastly, it may be the case that you are on the right type of medication, you're on the right dose, but you're using it incorrectly. And I have a whole video that explains how to make sure you are taking your thyroid medication correctly and why this is so important. If you're not taking it correctly, maybe you're taking it with food, maybe you're taking it with other supplements, maybe you're not splitting it appropriately, whatever it is, if you're not using it appropriately or if you're not using it consistently or correctly, it's not going to work. Thyroid medication is just so fickle. It looks for any reason to not be absorbed and to not work inside of the body. So you as a thyroid patient have to jump through a lot of hoops to make sure that you don't interfere with it in any way. And if you don't interfere with the thyroid medication, it'll allow it to get into your body, to do its job, to change genetic transcription and to help you feel better, which is what everyone who's listening to this, that's exactly what you want, right? So if you are taking thyroid medication, if you're feeling a little bit poorly, check this list of, list of symptoms, compare it to what you're experiencing, and then go through the list of the reasons why it may be happening, and you can probably make some adjustments. Again, at every level of these reasons that I just mentioned previously, those four reasons, I have videos which explain these things in more detail. I have a lot of other information that you can look at. So if you figure out which one, where your problem may be, look for additional resources and you will be able to find them. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure that you download my free thyroid PDF resources. I have tons of information all designed to help thyroid patients like you feel better. So that's all I have for you guys. And otherwise I'll see you in the next one.